some midweek Big East hoops from Omaha, Nebraska. The St. John's Red Storm in town at the CHI Health Center to take on the Creighton Blue Jays. 88-69 victory. Three-pointer for Ryan Hawkins, and he can fill it up from outside. No doubt, 88-69 win over Georgetown. They forced Georgetown into 21 turnovers, but the first turnover here tonight is Hawkins. Not only does he steal it, he throws it down. He's got the first five. Ryan Hawkins clearly coming out ready to play tonight. Well, again, it's just in the right spot. It's not because he's super quick, but he knows how to load up in that help gap. He's got good hands on the ball. And goes and rocks the rim. What a start from Ryan Hawkins. You can see St. John's so good attacking early in possessions. Rejection by Kalkbrenner, one of the best in the nation in that category. 45th block of the season, and then he blocks out Soriano to allow them hard to lay it in. It's a great up. Well, so far, it's St. John's that's had more trouble taking care of the ball than Creighton, different than what we thought. And a great transition bucket, Kaluma from downtown, 14-7. An important stretch and an important stretch for the Jays as well. Here is Arthur Kaluma leaning in, shifty with that pivot for him. That's a great step through. Look to make a play. Stanley's from three hours up the road on I-29, Overland Park, Kansas. He's got about 20 friends and family here tonight. Nice fade away there for the freshman Trey Alexander. Wheeler giving him something there, but he can't corral it. And ultimately, O'Connell sinks the mid-range floater. So, you got to be careful about how much you're biting these guys over turnovers. Great look for O'Connell, who is... Letting the game come to him. He might have to start getting a little aggressive, start shot hunting a little. Yeah, he's 0 of 4. Kalkbrenner, good finish for the 7 1 center. And good kick out. O'Connell hit one from there a moment ago. Make it two for Alex O'Connell. Right with the win over Georgetown without hitting a three pointer. That's his first three pointer in three halves. And speaking of three pointers, another one for O'Connell. And he'll head to the line to try to make it a four point play. So Creighton enjoying an 11-point lead as we approach the four-minute mark. O'Connell again, you better have a hand in his face. Large. Hawkins, quick release, got it. Left hand, no. And Wheeler had it taken away. Kaufbrenner got it right back. How about a third time? How about a fourth time? Kaluma, finally it goes for Creighton. Watch the shot clock here. Kalkbrenner, wow. Just remember, he's just a sophomore right now. Offensive rebound, Kalkbrenner. Nimhard in the lane. Tough shot, he got it. I've never seen him one of 11 on the floor like he is right now. All the way to the basket for Trey Alexander. This has been a clinic. I don't know if coming off a pin down and, and shooting a perimeter jumper is what St. John's needs right now from Wheeler. And here's Wheeler defensively. He's fouling Alexander as he lays it up and in. Right, I know I've been a broken record, but Trey Alexander has jump stop at the end of every one of his drives, and good things have happened every single time. Jump stop. Draws the foul from Wheeler, and he's able to get a potential three-point play. The crowd wanted it over the back on Wheeler. They don't get that whistle either. It all leads to O'Connell wide open. His fifth three of the night. Largest lead for the Blue Jays. A disruption at the rim for Creighton, too. Another three. This one from Alexander, and now the Blue Jays really putting their foot on the gas. I think Mike Anderson might want to take a timeout. Yes, he does. And they're on their feet in Omaha. It's also a little bit with the matchup as well. St. John's has not defended the three well all year. Now, there's another one. This Kalkbrenner kicking it out. There's O'Connell. Well, folks, if you don't track number five tonight, he's probably going to knock down some shots. If you didn't hear us at the top of the broadcast, it's been 33 days since Creighton has played here in front of the home crowd. And nobody's been more excited than Alex O'Connell. He now has 28. Nemar took a pretty nasty fall at the end of that Xavier game, too. Didn't practice on Monday. Wow. What a move there. But again, they're playing a pretty good team on the road. And Kaluba knocks it.
Another offensive board for Kalkbrenner. And on the reload, why not? Kaluma with three. With the rest of this crew, we know that this is a dangerous St. John's team. And Arthur Kaluma. O'Connell led the way with 28, and this one was all Blue Jays tonight.